Women and children, often the most vulnerable in conflict, their bodies often bear the wounds of war. We've now heard the allegations of sexual violence in Israel and Gaza. I was there for 51 days. There wasn't a minute that we didn't go through something, abuse in all forms, and they are still there, surviving, barely. These accounts are part of a wider global picture. So, how has sexual violence been used as a weapon of war? Well, the past century offers too many harrowing examples. The systematic rape of women in Bosnia. An estimated 200,000 women raped during Bangladeshi independence in 1971. And in Ukraine, harrowing testimony from the devastated Bucha on the outskirts of the capital, Kiev. <laughs> In Ethiopia, a conflict fled three years ago. One hospital treated 200 victims of sexual violence in 2022. Peace has held in Tigray, but the trauma experienced by women and children there may never heal. <laughs> Sexual abuse is often used as a deliberate military strategy. In Myanmar, it's been a hallmark of the country's war against its ethnic minorities. In 2017, in Rakhine State, 750,000 Rohingya Muslims were forced across the border into refugee camps in Bangladesh. Entire villages were razed. Tens of thousands were killed and women and children were raped. Senior military commanders, some now in government, have been found to be complicit. As a United Nations team in Israel examines reports of sexual violence during October the 7th, there are now calls for an international strategy to protect the most vulnerable.